What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again for round two of the Rotner Fresh Season 3 Tourney for the Ages. Welcome to round two of the tournament guys. Round one was fantastic. All the matches are done in film. Thank you guys so much for watching every single match that went down in round one. Let's take a look at the bracket for round two. Thank you to Daniel from Halfcock for making that. We got a bunch of highly anticipated matches going on in round two, and this is the first match. This is a number one seed match, one of my most anticipated, and I'm excited to find out who's going to come out on top here. But first, we got to introduce the competitors. Up first is the number one seed competitor going into round two. He put up 24 points against John Hayek in round one. This guy knows his movies, and we're excited to see how he does in round two. You all know who he is. It's Griffin from Men vs. Movies. Griffin, welcome to round two. Wow, this is insane. I didn't think I was going to be the number one seed, but uh, I guess, you know, the cards just kind of fell in line. I'm very excited to be competing as Matthew, great guy and all that. And once again, I have my Nitro Cold Brew Starbucks coffee because apparently that helped last time. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm excited to see uh, what happens. Hell yeah. The challenger, the other competitor, is the 16th seed winner. He went up against Mothman Jones in his match, and he put up 11 points. But he's excited to see how he's going to do. He didn't study as much as he'd hoped to, but he's excited to play nonetheless. You all love this guy. He's a Season 1 veteran. That is Matthew V. Haynes. Matthew, welcome to Round 2. Thank you for having me back. I am excited and interested to see where this goes <laughs> um, we're just gonna just let this go out and see what happens man i'm very excited for what's to come thanks for having me back as i said before the winner of this goes on to round three the final eight who's it gonna be we're gonna find out right now let's play rotten or fresh round one the free for all round works as follows you guys know how it works you're gonna get eight questions in round one and 20 seconds to answer each question it is each contestant's goal to try to guess the Rotten Tomatoes score for whatever movie I give you. Here's the catch. If you get a perfect score in round one, you get two points. If you don't get a perfect score, whoever is the closest to the score without going over gets one point. And this is a write-in round, gentlemen, so write down all of your answers on your piece of paper or whiteboard. And once time is up and I call your name, please show your answers to the cameras and say what you have written down. All right, gentlemen, the first question in round one comes in the category of horror movies. Horror. Your movie, gentlemen, is Dawn of the Dead, the remake, which came out in 2004, directed by Zack Snyder, starring Sarah Poli and Ving Rhames. Ooh, wow, I really don't know horror films. Oof, that's remake fun. to George Romero's classic, Zack Snyder. Five, four, three, <clears throat> two, one, and stop. All right, we're going to start with Griffin. Griffin, what score do you have? Uh, I put 60. <laughs> okay, and Matthew? I, um, I put 50. I put 50. Ugh. All right, both middle of the road on this film, but someone was closer to the score, and that's Griffin. Griffin, you were the closest to the score. The answer was 75% for the Dawn of the Dead remake. Fuck, I So was, yeah. that's one point to Griffin. Good job, Griffin. Hell yes. Yeah. All right, <laughs> you guys will be happy with the next category here. It's animated movies. Animated. Your film is Fine and Dory, came out in 2016, directed by Andrew Stanton, starring Ellen DeGeneres and Albert Brooks. Uh, yeah, this film was eh, okay. I love Finding Nemo, one of my favorite Pixar films. <clears throat> All right, and we got five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Matthew, what do you have? I went with 85. All right, and Griffin? Uh, I went with 90. All right, very high scores for Finding Dory. 
But the person who was closest, and he was very close to the score, it's Griffin once again. Griffin, you're going to get a point. It's 94%. 94 ah, for and Dory. See, I, so, I almost went with 95, and I'm very happy I did. And I <laughs> almost put 95, too. <laughs> yeah, so was like, one point to Griffin. That's like the typical Pixar score. It's like 95%. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, your next category is comedy. <laughs> guys, your oh movie my. is Billy Madison. Came out in 1995. Directed Ooh. by Tom R. Davis, starring Adam Sandler. He shit poop. He called his shit poop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore, guys? Uh, uh, I think I'm more... Uh, I don't know. It depends on the day. Yeah, it depends on the day. There's no the right mood. or wrong answer. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Griffin, what do you have? I have 45. Wow, and Matthew? Yeah, typically a lot of those movies are low, so I went with 25. Yeah. All right. Someone got a perfect score here for adam sandler movies and griffin you got the perfect score for billy madison it is 45 okay. percent <laughs> so two points to Sick. griffin wow Good wow job. Good i job. uh i almost went with 43 so i'm glad i didn't That's excellent <laughs> excellent guess all right guys get ready new releases is your next category oh son now this of is bitch. june 2018 to the present today your movie is one of my favorite films of the year, Upgrade, directed by Leigh Whannell, starring Logan Marshall Green. Might I ask, have you guys both seen this film? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's good, great. Good, good. I, I'm I, glad you did. It's a fantastic. Ending shocked me. Yeah, that ending was awesome. Yeah, the ending's excellent. I want a sequel. Yep. All right, we got five, four, three, two, one, stop. Matthew, what do you have? Oh, man. I, f I feel like I messed up, but it's too late. I put 90%. All right. And Griffin? I had a feeling it was either like 88 or yeah. what I went with, which was 86. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so do you have 86 or 88? Oh, no. I have 86. Sorry. I, I was just saying I was stuck between two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Very high scores for upgrade. But once again, a perfect score went down here. And Griffin, you got it, buddy. Another perfect what? score. 86% for upgrade. So well, fuck. Griffin has <laughs> upgraded his points to two more points. Man, I'm eating those mushrooms, man. We'll keep those, upgrading, those Mario, buddy. Mario Guys, Mario. your next category is sports movies. Fun. Sports. Your movie is sports. Draft Day. Draft Day came out in 2014. Directed by Ivan Reitman, starring Kevin Costner and Jennifer Garner. Did anyone ever see this movie? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't either. Uh, might, might I say, I love the NFL, I love my Patriots, and Tom Brady is the GOAT. Enough said. Five, <coughs> four, three, two, one, stop. All right, uh, Griffin, what do you have? Uh, I went with 55%. All right, Matthew? I also went with 55%. Wow. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Wow. Both said 55% for draft day. The question is, did they go over? And the answer is no, they did not. You both Ooh. were so close. 60%. Fuck, so, I almost went with 60. God so damn it. So you both get a point. Griffin and Matthew. Good hey, job, guys. I get one There we go. High five. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, I guys. Like <laughs> get ready. Get your love cards ready because Romantic Comedies is next. Your Oof. movie is High Fidelity. Came out in the year 2000. Directed by Stephen Frears. Starring John Cusack and Jack Black. Mm. Mm. Jack Black's a hit or miss depending on the film. It ah. exactly. is. So, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Matthew, what do you have? All right, I went safe uh, with 60%. All right, Griffin? Uh, I said 70. 70, all right. 
Uh, okay. Someone was so close to the score, they weren't that close, but Griffin, once again, you were the closest to the score. <laughs> High fidelity is a 91%. So oh wow! Yeah, Griffin. I should have known that. I should have yeah. known that. That's uh one of his best. Yeah. Guys, get ready because the next category is the special category, Mr. Hugh Jackman. Oh baby! Wolverine. Oh lord! Rah, Come my on! My favorite actor. Your movie is Scoop. Came out in 2006. Directed by Woody Allen, starring Hugh Jackman and Scarlett Johansson. Have you guys seen Scoop? Never heard not. of it. <laughs> I hadn't heard of it until I was looking well, this over. This is their second collaboration. Oh, uh, they're in the Prestige together, Cody. So they've collabed before. Five, no. four, Jackman and Scarlett Johansson. Three, uh, two, one, stop. All right, uh, Griffin, what score do you have? Uh, I got forty-one percent. Matthew, what do you have? <laughs> I put seventy percent. Wow. Two completely different scores here for Scoop, but someone, it is a rotten score, but we got a perfect score going down. Somebody study Hugh Jackman. It's Mr. Griffin. Griffin, you got the score yeah. 41%. So two Hell points yeah. to Griffin. And guys, your final category in round one is sci-fi movies. Sci-fi. Your movie is Rollerball. Came out in 1975. Oh my god. Directed by Norman Jewson, starring James Caan. Hey, we had to throw an obscured one in there. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing is, is like I've heard of that film. I just have no idea what the score is. Yeah, that's the fun part. <laughs> Alright, we got five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Matthew, what do you have? I went with 35%. And Griffin? I'm not too far off. I said 40. 40. All right, both close scores here, but is the question is, is it a rotten score or a fresh score? And it is a fresh score, so Griffin, you were the closest one. It was 68% for Rollerball. So one point again to Griffin. All right, I... Sure, All right, that it. does it for round one. Let's go to round two. Round two, the solo round, works as follows. You guys are going to pick two categories of your choice in this round, and then you're going to get three questions. Remember, guys, multiple choice is available in round two if you need it. If you don't need multiple choice and you get the answer right, you get two points. But if you need multiple choice and you get your question right, the point diminishes to one point. This is a speaking round, gentlemen, so you don't have to write your answers down. Just speak them out loud. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer each question in round two. And if you get your question incorrect, your fellow competitor has the opportunity to steal the question and get points. And the same point value applies to the stealer. And after the category has been chosen, it is out. You cannot pick it again. It's out till the next round. All right. We're going to start round two with Matthew. Matthew, since you're down right now, you get to pick your first category of choice. So, Matthew, what's it going to be? All right, I'm going to go with new releases. Wow, he goes new releases, no comic book movies. All right. <laughs> new releases for yep. Matthew. It helped you last time. All right, let's go to new releases for Matthew. All right, Matthew, here's your first question in new releases. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the Meg? Uh, multiple choice, please. Sure. Is it 43%, 48%, 37%, or 45%? Um, that'll be 37%. 37 is incorrect. Griffin, this is a one-point steal. Uh, 45. One-point steal for Griffin. That is correct. All right, Matthew, next question. Okay. Matthew, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Venom? <laughs> um, I saw this the other day too. Um, a ro um, crap, sorry. Uh, multiple choice, please. Sorry. All right. Is it thirty-eight percent, twenty-nine percent, thirty-three percent, or twenty-four percent? Twenty-four. Twenty-four is incorrect. Griffin, one point steal. Uh, twenty-nine, isn't it? 
That's correct. One point steal for Griffin. Big steals right here. Ah, All right, Matthew, your so final question in new releases. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the overrated Sorry to Bother You? <laughs> wow. Dang. No bias there. <laughs> yeah, no, none at all. Uh, multiple it choice. It is overrated. All right, multiple choice. Is it 93%? 90%? 81% or 86%? I'll go with 93%. That's correct, Matthew. One point. Good job. You said overrated. That was a big hint, man. Way too high. All right, Griffin. <laughs> Griffin, what's your first category going to be? I think I know what it is. Uh, Give me Huey. Give me give me young Huey, Huey? boy. Huey? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Jackman. Okay, Huey Hackman. Huge, huge Jackman. <laughs> huge Ackman for Griffin. All right, Griffin, here's your first category. Question in Hugh Jackman. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Pan? Oh my god, I hate this film. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's literally one of my least favorite films of all time. 27%. Give him two points, ladies and gentlemen. Pan has 27. That fucking movie. <laughs> Griffin, Griffin, which of Hugh Jackman's acted movies is his second lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Ooh, um... You didn't see that coming? Well, uh, <laughs> I figured it'd probably be one of those. Um, uh, give me multiple choice. Five. Multiple choice. Is it Van Helsing, Snowflower in the Secret Fan, Deception, or Movie 43? It's Deception. One point for Griffin. 13% for Deception. <clears throat> yeah. Last question in Hugh Jackman. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Rise of the Guardians? Uh, Rise of the Guardians would be 74. 74 is correct! Another perfect score for Griffin. Wow. Wow. All right, Matthew, buddy, what's your final category? <laughs> I think I know what it is. Yeah, um, comic book movies, please. Comic book movies and graphic novels for Matthew. All right, Matthew, first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Watchmen? Uh, oh, I need a multiple choice on that. All right, uh, 71%, 64%, 69%, or 75%? 75%. 75 is incorrect. Griffin, one point steal. Uh, can you say the, the, uh, the choices again? Sure, 71, 64, 69, 75. Uh, let's go 69. 69 is also incorrect. The answer is oh, 64. Shit, 64. 64. All right, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Mask, 1994? <laughs> Multiple choice, please. 60%, 67%, 74%, 77%. Give him a point. That's correct. One point. And finally, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Dark Knight Rises? Ooh, um, multiple choice. I don't want to guess on that. All right, 87, 84, 90, 81. What's the first one again? 87. I'll go with that one. That's correct. One yes. point for Matthew. Okay. Good job. All right. All right, Griffin, final category. Oh, let's go with Westerns. Westerns. I'm still, in, right. I'm still in that Giddy Red up, Dead cowboy. mood. I'm still in that Red Dead mood. Oh, he's in the Red Dead Redemption too. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Tony in the background. He's getting so excited back there. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Griffin. It's beautiful. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Griffin, what is the Rotten Tomato score for True Grit: The Remake, 2010? Uh, that would be 96 percent. Give him two points! That is correct! Wow! Give it up. <laughs> what is the Rotten Tomato score for Heaven's Gate, 1980? Uh, Heaven's Gate is 57. Oh my god! That is correct! <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, Griffin, let's see if you get this one. Right. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Young Guns 2, 1990. Oh, fuck. I gotta think about this one. <laughs> um... Uh... Shit, shit, shit. What, what, what year did it come out? Uh, 1990. Um... Uh, five, four, three, 
two. 35. One. Did you say, what did you say? 35? 30, 35. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> 35 is correct. Wow, somebody studied some Western. Oh, my God. I think that's a knockout, but oh, my God. What's who's a round three? What, I don't know. All right, guys. At the end of round two, Griffin has a massive lead with 24 points, and Matthew only has four points, but... We are having a round three. There's a lot of movies these guys can think of, so Matthew still has a shot to make a comeback. We'll see. Let's go to round three, the listing round. You guys are going to have 60 seconds, one minute, to write down as much of movies as you can think of. This is either an actor or an actress. You have to list off as many movies you can think of with that actor or actress within 60 seconds. You're then going to read off your movies. And please list off your movies one by one so I can look to see if it's on there. Each correct answer in round three is worth one point. Gentlemen, your question for round three is... List as many films as you can, 60% and below, on Rotten Tomatoes, featuring the actor, Hugh Jackman's rival, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Deadpool himself, Ryan Reynolds, 60 and below. 60 and below. There's 23 movies for these guys to think of right here. So this is a big round for Matthew. He needs to have a big comeback to have a shot here. But we'll see. Who is going to get the most Ryan Reynolds movies that are wrong? And we have... 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. <laughs> Twenty-four for There's Griffin and four for it. Matthew. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. And gentlemen, we have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Pens down. Stop. Pens down. Stop. All right. We are going to start with Matthew. Matthew, uh, of how course many movies? You do. Matthew, list off your movies <laughs> one by one, please. All right, so um, I haven't seen too many Ryan Reynolds films, so uh, <laughs> I think I've disappointed you guys. But I only put down X Men Origins. Uh, how many X Men oh, Origins? Shit. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yes, X Men Origins and uh, Green Lantern. That's the only two that I can think of. Okay. How in God's really? name did I not? Think yes, of I, I oh, haven't wow. seen. I haven't seen any other films from him. That I can remember. Okay, uh, so you only had X Men Origins and Green Lantern. And Green Lantern, that's all I yeah, got. Both of those movies are on there, but unfortunately, Matthew, that's only two points. Yep. But Griffin, Griffin, please list off your movies, please. Uh, one one. I I only had four because I was a dumbass and didn't even think of X Men Origins because I always. Oh, I, okay. What are yeah. your four movies? Anyways, I have Van Wilder. Oh uh, wait, Van Wilder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Van Wilder is not on here. Ah, shit, I thought he was... Uh, anyways, Green Lantern. Yep. Uh, what's the one? Best Friends, the one he did with, uh, where he was fat. Best Friends? Yeah. Uh, no Best Friends. Best Friends okay. is not on here. Yeah, I didn't think, I didn't even think that was the name of the movie, <laughs> but, uh, the last one is R.I.P.D. R.I.P.D. is on there. Yes, R.I.P.D. How'd I forget there. that movie? So only two points for Griffin. Two points. Hey, you both get two points. <laughs> but guys, let's so. go through the list of movies. I'm shocked you missed a couple of these. So I, dude, let's I'm go just, through yeah. all of these for fun. <laughs> Life During Wartime, 56%. Coming Soon, 29%. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Who said Van Wilder? Me. Griffin. Yeah. It says National Lampoon's Van Wilder. Yeah, I'll that's, give it to you. Yeah. I'm so sorry yeah. about that, Griffin. No, no, no. You're all good. You're all good. No worries. So dude. can we do that again? No, that's good. We're just keep it going. You, you got it. That's another point. Okay, that's three points for Griffin. All right. Uh, the In-Laws, 34%. Oh. Blade Trinity, oh. 25%. <laughs> I, I always forget. <laughs> what? Why did I forget that? Yeah, I'm shocked. The Amityville Horror, the remake, 23%. Waiting, yeah, 31%. Just 
Just friends. I think. Did you say best? That's friends? what I meant. That, no, that fuck. Best that's friends. what I meant. Yeah, you mispronounced the title. Forty-two percent. Smoking aces. Thirty percent. Oh my! K what the fuck? I know. Oh. <laughs> Chaos theory. Thirty percent. X Men Origins Wolverine. Thirty-seven percent. Mm -hmm. The proposal. Forty-five percent. That's the one I was thinking of. I was put the bride. Oh my god! The proposal. What is it? Dude, how <laughs> I was put the bride. Mister Man. Thirty-two percent. Green Lantern, 26%. The Change Up, 25%. Fire oh my god. Fireflies in the Garden, 21%. Safe House, 53%. Oh. RIPD, 13%. The Captive, 30%. Woman in Gold, 56%. Selfless, Man. 18%. Criminal, thirty mm. percent, mm. and the Hitman's bodyguard, forty percent. Oh, Shark yeah. How did I forget Fuck. that one? I so forgot that so many. It, guys. So at the end of round three, Griffin has twenty-seven points, and Matthew has six points. There's no need to go on to round four. Griffin, congratulations, man! You have won via TKO, and you are moving on to round three, the final eight of the Tony for the Ages. Fantastic job, Griffin, but Matthew, man, let's go to you, man. Very tough match for you today, buddy, but thank you so much for taking part in this tournament, man. You got six points, six points, but hey, you won a match, you can say that, but Matthew, give us your final thoughts. Obviously, going into this, man, I, I, was, I wasn't really expecting too much of it. Um, I was unprepared but good work to griffin for getting all of those points man i was totally unprepared so um but it was a very good match i learned a lot from it and i uh, can't wait to see how this thing ends up man good uh good job griff yeah you guys can find me all over youtube uh facebook instagram uh all at matthew v haynes and griffin 27 points that is better than your first one but you're moving on in the tournament man good job to you hats off you did a fantastic job but man, give us your final overall thoughts. Honest to God, I'm shocked that I actually knew the westerns you threw at me this time. Because last time I went with westerns, uh, you uh, you threw some really uh, really under the radar ones at me. But anyways, no. Uh, hats off to Matthew. Thanks for you know playing and being a good sport and all that. It's it was great competing with you. I I really feel bad. I wish that it wasn't the gap wasn't so huge. Um, but I'm uh, uh I'm, I'm happy that I, I outdid myself from the first round. Now my now my goal is to uh break the record. What's the record? You said the record's 30? 29. 29? Man, I'm only like two away. Let's I got this. I'll just I'll I'll make sure I actually study more next time and uh can get like 30 or something. But yeah, I'm really I'm really excited to be moving on. Yeah, uh you can uh you know subscribe to the Men vs. Movies YouTube channel over there with you know film reviews and stuff like that. And then you can also uh like Men vs. Movies and follow us on Twitter at Men vs. Movies. And if you want to follow me specifically, uh you can follow me at Griff Schiller. Hats off to you, man. We will see you in December in round three of the tournament. Who will you be facing? We'll find. You'll find out then. Thank you guys at home for watching. Let us know down below in the comments. Who did you have winning? What were your favorite parts of this match? Let us know down below in the comments. Now we gotta go to the next match. That is the number four seed Chandler Langley versus the number thirteen seed Joseph Lansdell. Cody, you got that match. Take it away, bro. Thank you so much, Ryan, and guys, welcome back to Rotten or Fresh Season 3 Tourney for the Ages. Man, oh man, round two is upon us. We are here, and my name is Cody, just in case you forgot. We are so excited to keep this tourney going. Round two, 16 competitors left. Well, 15 competitors left after you just watched that last episode. And now we have two more competitors here who know the game, who are very good at the game, but only one can move on to the third round. We're going to find out who that is very soon. Let's introduce these competitors first, starting with the returning player who has the most experience out of anybody. Fun fact, he has played the most matches in Rotten or Fresh history, so this guy might just know the game as well as anybody. He's hilarious, he's great, and he put up a very, very 
very impressive round one performance. He is our fourth seed, Mr. Chandler Langley. Chandler, welcome to round two. I am um, <laughs> stuck a sandwich in my mouth. <laughs> uh, but, <clears throat> okay, I swallowed a little bit. Uh, thank you, uh, Cody and Ryan, for having me back on the show. Yes, I definitely have the most experience out of anybody in the show, but um, it's just about having fun, man. I'm just going to keep on focusing on having fun. It's kind of like whose line is it anyway. You know, the points don't matter, except the points do matter in this round if I want to make it to the championship. But it, it, to me, I just want to have as much fun as I can, as much as I possibly can. So, yeah, I... I'm very excited to start the game. Well put, and I miss that show. Thanks for reminding me of how much I miss it. Um, and now our other player, he's not really a challenger anymore, but he is one new player that has moved on to round two. Surprised all of us. He really did. Defeating Sammy from Samuel One World Reviews with 17 points. A very impressive debut performance. He came prepared. He loves movies, and I think he loves this show too, and I think he's looking forward to two competing here in round two. Mr. Joseph Lansdell. Joseph, welcome to round two. Hello, all Rotten or Fresh. I am back on this show once again, second time. And hey, let's go. I'm ready. I love it. Short and sweet. Guys, we know how this works. One of you will be moving on to round three and joining the final eight. And one of you will be eliminated today. All those questions will be answered right now. So let's play Rotten or fresh. Round one is the free-for-all round, and it works as follows. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you eight questions in this round out of the 11 total movie categories for the match. Your goal is to guess what the Rotten Tomatoes score is for the film I give you perfectly. If you're able to get it perfectly, we will give you two points. However, the person who is closest to the score, if nobody gets a perfect score, without going over, will get one point. You guys will have 20 seconds to come up with an answer, and please, once the time is up, I'll call each of you individually. Show and say your answers to the cameras you have in front of you at the same time. Here we go. Round one, question one, comes in the category of horror movies. Horror. Horror. Your film is Insidious. Came out in 2011, directed by James Wan. Starring Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne. Insidious. The very first Insidious. I don't, I'm not even competing, and I have butterflies. Oh, <laughs> first question was said. Answers are being written down. Let's see what they came up with. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We will start with Chandler. What did you have? I said 64%. Okay, and Joseph. All right, one point above, uh, sixty-five. Wow! Percent. Oh man! <laughs> oh, Joseph. Starting off with two very close guesses. One said sixty-four, and one said sixty-five. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off with a perfect score, and someone got Jay Vader. Who got it? Joseph gets the perfect score. It is, <laughs> it is 65%. I Chandler, knew it. I knew it. Horror you, was the one category I didn't study enough on. You are not new to J. Vader's, man. That is a J. Vader's for you, my friend. But you didn't go over, so there's that, I guess. I did not. I thought it was somewhere around that. I can't believe... Uh, uh, very right. close. Whatever. Whatever. But Joseph is starting with two points. Okay, your second question for you both is a category you both enjoy. Comic book slash graphic novel movies. Comic book, graphic novels. Your film is Blade Trinity. Came out in 2004. Directed by David S. Goyer. Starring Wesley Snipes and Ryan Reynolds. Have you guys seen the Blade movies? Uh, sort of. <laughs> Don't yeah. really remember them. I've only seen I... them once, basically. But yeah. Okay. I haven't seen any. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We will start with Joseph. What do you have? Alright. I have 21%. Alright, and Chandler. I said 25%. Okay, again, 
both giving this movie very low scores, and again, both very close with their guesses. This seems just like it's going to be a tit-for-tat kind of game because Chandler gets the perfect score this time. Best wow, time. it is a 25%. Joseph, not too far off, but All with right. the perfect score, Chandler has two points. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, boy. It's going to be a ball game. Your third <laughs> category is action and adventure movies. Action and adventure. Your film is Doom. Came out in 2005. Directed by Andres Bardiguaki. I don't even know how to say his name. Uh, starring Dwayne Johnson and Carl Urban. Doom. Yeah, I haven't heard too many good things about this movie. And, uh, understandably so. What is the score? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Chandler, what did you come up with? I said 35%. Okay, and Joseph? Alright. I said 36%. Oh my goodness, 36. Joseph, I swear! <laughs> I swear! <laughs> Alright, we have a similar situation. Someone said 35, and someone said 36. However, too much credit, gentlemen. It's only a 19% for Doom. 19%. Okay, Oh. So, no points are rewarded for that one. Sorry, guys. We move on to question four, though. And that comes in the category of sci-fi movies. Sci-fi. Okay. Your film is Flash Gordon. Came out in 1980. Directed by Mike Hodges. Starring Sam Jones III and Melody Anderson. Flash Gordon. Classic. Yeah, definitely a classic. However, my knowledge on this film isn't great, but I know there's a Flash TV show, and I know there's a player on the Patriots <laughs> named Josh Gordon. So, put those together, and you have the title of this movie. Five, four, three, Nice, two. nice tie-in. Thanks. One, and stop. Yep, that's just... Okay. Joseph, what did you have? All right. I have 56%. All right. And Chandler? I said 82 Okay, one is fresh and one is rotten. A little bit of separation here between both answers. Man, oh man, Mr. Chandler Langley with another perfect score. 82%. I'm not sure if you pulled that out of your hat or just, you know, you took a guess, but it paid off. Two points for Chandler. Pulled it out of my hat, All right, even hey. though I don't have a hat. I know, I was just going to say. <laughs> anyway, good. Two points for Chandler. Nice job. Okay, your next category is a category I think you both uh, took a look at this weekend. It's our special category, Kiera Knightley Acted Movies. Kiera Definitely. Knightley, our special category. Your film is going to be Atonement. Came out in 2007. Directed by Joe Wright. Starring James McAvoy and Miss Kiera Knightley. We decided to go with Miss Kiera Knightley. She has a movie out this weekend. The f uh, what is it? Nutcracker in the Four Realms. So, yeah, Ryan uh, is sleeping in the background. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Chandler, what did you have? I said 83. All right, and Joseph. All right, I have 73%. Okay, both separated by 10 points here. One said 83 and one said 73. And uh, Chandler, it looks like you took a look at those uh, movies this weekend because it is an 83%. Nice work. Two yes, more I points did. to Chandler. Nice job. All right, your third to last category for you both is animated movies. Animated. Okay. Your film is Sleeping Beauty. Came out in 1959, a very old film, directed by Les Clark and Wolfgang Reitherman. There's more directors, I only wrote two. Starring Eleanor Audley and Verna Felton. I have not seen this Disney classic in a while. But it's uh, a beautiful movie. It is, it is. I agree with that. Sleeping Beauty. What is this? Five, four, three, two... One and stop. We'll start with Joseph. What did you have? Alright. 
I have 84%. Okay, and Chandler? I hope I got it right. I said 96. Okay, wow. One's pretty high, one is pretty, pretty high. So we have some high scores for this film here. You both kind of sandwiched the actual score. And with that, Joseph, you did not go over, my friend. So Joseph is going to get the point. It is a 90% for Sleeping Beauty. 90. 90%. So, I kind of figured I might have gone yeah. over. <laughs> One point to Joseph. All right. Your next category is going to be romantic comedies. Romantic comedies. Hooray. <laughs> your <laughs> film is a recent one. How to Be Single came out in 2016. Directed by Christian Ditter, starring Dakota Johnson and Rebel Wilson. I should watch this movie, because I've been single forever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should watch it too. <laughs> we all should watch <laughs> Let's all gather around the campfire and watch How to Be Single. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Chandler. What did you have? A total random guess, and I heard Dakota Johnson is in it, so 25%. <laughs> Went right to the... <laughs> All right, and Joseph? All right. 67%. Another random Six... guess. All right, random guesses. Hey, sometimes they pay off. One is fresh, and one is rotten. Uh, yeah, you both, again, are sandwiching the actual score. Chandler, you did not go over, though, however. Chandler's going to okay. get the point. It is a 47%. 47 for How to Be Single. Another point to Chandler. Okay. All right, gentlemen, your final category in round one is going to be new releases. New releases. Right. This is movies from June 2018 to the present day. All right. Your film is Mile 22. Came out in 2018. Directed by Mr. Peter Berg. Starring Mark Wahlberg, Macky Mac, and Lauren Cohen. What? No! No! What? What? <laughs> why? Why that she's in this movie? Lauren <laughs> Cohen? Uh... No! No, sir! I'm oh, not. oh, you just... <laughs> That's good. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Chandler, what did you say? I went with 22%. 22. And Joseph? Alright. I put 16 percent. Okay. Pretty low scores for this one. And, uh, yeah, this movie is a pretty low score. Both were pretty close, but Chandler is closer. He is closer to the score. It's a 24 percent for mile 22. 24. I two, it's not a mile 22. I see what you did there. It is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one point to Chandler, and that's going to do it for round one. Let's now go into round two. Round two is the solo round, and it works as follows. You guys will each get to choose two categories of your choice in this round, and once your category is chosen, I will ask you three questions in that category. Multiple choice is available in this round, keep that in mind, but if you're able to get your question right without needing multiple choice, we'll give you two points. However, if you opt to multiple choice and get your question correct, you will only get one point. Answer incorrectly, however, your opponent does get the opportunity to steal, and the same point values apply to them. Instead of 20 seconds, you get 15 seconds to answer questions in this round. And choose your categories wisely, because once a category has been chosen in this round, it is out for the entire round. Joseph, you are behind yeah. at the moment, but that means you get to choose your first category first. What's that going to be? Yeah. Alright, um... Let's do new releases. Wow, okay, he's changing it up this time around. New releases is the selection for Joseph, and new releases he shall get. Here is your yep. first of three questions. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween? Oh Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it 43%? Yep. 58%, 37%, or 47%? Um, 47%. One point to Joseph. Nice job. One point. Your second question. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Ocean's 8? 
Alright. Um, oceans. Multiple choice, please. M multiple choice. Is it 78%, 68%, 63%, or 74%? Uh, 63. 63 is incorrect. Chandler, a one point steal here. 68%. And that's a one-point steal for Chandler. No hesitation. Nice job. Okay, Joseph, your final question in new releases. Yeah. What is what is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Hotel Transylvania Three: Summer Vacation? Um, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it fifty-eight percent, sixty percent, fifty-one percent, or forty-three percent? Um, 61%. 61% is incorrect. Chandler, a one-point steal here. 58%. One-point steal to Chandler Langley. Nice job. Chandler, you get to choose your first category first now. With the momentum, what are you going to choose? I'm going to choose Kiara Knightley movies. All right, Mr. Chandler Langley is choosing the special category, Kiara Knightley movies. Here's your first of three. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit 2014? 55%. Two points for Chandler. Nice job. Two points for Chandler. Here's your next question. Which of Kiera Knightley's acted movies is her second lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Okay. Oh, man. Need to think about this one. We're in round two now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't go multiple choice. Okay, multiple choice. Is it The Edge of Love, Domino, Collateral Beauty, or Silk? Collateral Beauty. One point for Chandler. Nice job using the multiple choice there. Yeah. Here's your last question in Kiera Knightley. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Never Let Me Go, 2010? Uh, that's 70%. Two points for Chandler Langley. Okay. <laughs> nice job. Two points. There you go. Very, very good uh, category there for Chandler. But Joseph, you now get to choose your final category here in round yep. two. What's it going to be? All right. Let's do comic book movies. Comic book slash graphic novel movies is Joseph's yep. selection. Here is your first of three. What is yep. the Rotten Tomato score? For the film Superman Returns, 2006. Uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it 71%, 75%, 79%, or 65%? 79%. 79 is incorrect. Chandler, a one-point steal here. Hey, can I have the choices again? Yes. 71, 75... 79 or 65? 75. One point steal to Chandler. Another steal there. All right, Joseph, here's your second question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, 2003, a graphic novel? Uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it 20%, 27%? 14% or 17%? 17%. One point for Joseph. Nice job. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. Good job. Good job. Here's your last question in comic book, Joseph. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Spider-Man Homecoming? 92. He studied his MCU films. That is correct. Two points. Nice job. That's a good end there to your last category, yeah. Joseph. Good job. Two yeah. points. Chandler, your final category, please. Okay. I'm going to look at my category list. I think I would choose... I'm going to choose... Animated. Wow. No westerns or rom-coms for... He's going animated movies. Yes. Yeah. He's going animated movies. I like it. I would choose it. And here is your first of three in animated movies, Ch uh, Chandler. 
What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, 1996? I'm going to need multiple choice on this one. Okay, is it 85%, 74%, 81%, or 79%? Eighty-five. Eighty-five is incorrect. Joseph, a one-point steal here. All right. The options again. Sure. Eighty-five, seventy-four, eighty-one, seventy-nine. Eighty-one. Also incorrect. It's Seventy-nine, also incorrect. isn't it? No, it's seventy-four. Mm, 74 wow. For the hun- yeah. I didn't know it was that Pretty, low. Yeah, I, I, I like the movie. It's pretty good. 74 for Notre Dame. All right, Chandler, your second question. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film The Angry Birds Movie, 2016? Uh, multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice. 38%, 27%, 44%, 47%. Uh, 44%. One point. All right, That's okay. Correct. Nice job. <laughs> that is correct. Here's your final question in round two, Chandler, and, and your final question in animated movies. Which DreamWorks movie has the highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? How to Train Your Dragon. Two points for Chandler! Yes. That right. is correct. Yes. A lot of people, we thought we would say How to Train Your Dragon too, but no, it is the first one. Nice job. Two points for Chandler. Strong round there for Chandler. We'll have to see if there's a round three, and let's find out right now. We will have a round three, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph still has a chance, and he has his chance here in the listening round, and it works as follows. Round three, the listening round. You guys are going to have one full minute here to write down as many movies as you can related to the question. This question can be about an actor or an actress, and the goal is just to write down as many films as you can in 60 seconds. Once that 60 seconds is up, I'll be calling each of you individually to reveal your answers one by one. Please do that so I can check to see if the movie is on the list and I'll tell you if it's right or wrong and we'll go from there. Each correct movie is worth one point. Gentlemen, your round three question is list as many films as you can 60% and above 60% and above on Rotten Tomatoes featuring the actress Melissa McCarthy time starts Melissa McCarthy time has started Melissa McCarthy now there is a total of 11 movies for these two guys to come up with here not a lot but still a decent amount here 11 movies Looking at the score right now, Chandler has a comfortable lead. So Joseph's going to need to have a pretty good round three here um, in order to maybe cut this lead a little bit closer. 30 seconds. You have about 30 seconds left. Melissa McCarthy, the comedian. Been in a lot of movies, but only 11 are technically fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. So we will see here how well the gentleman do. You guys have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pens down, please, and the time is up. Alrighty, Joseph. Um, One by one, please. How many films do you have? Alright. I have the 2016 Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is correct. Okay, then I have uh, Spy. Spy is also correct. Yep, and that's all I have. All right, two answers for Joseph and two points he will get. Two points for Joseph. Nice round. All right, uh, Chandler, one by one, please. I have the Spy. Spy is correct. I also have the Heat. The Heat is also correct. I have Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is correct. And I don't think it's on there, but I've also put down Life of the Party. 
Life of the Party is not on the list, but okay. those other three films you said are on the list, so that is three points to Chandler. Let's now go over the 11 movies so you guys can just scream. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here they are. Go, 91%. Charlie's Angels, 68%. Oh. White Oleander, 69%. The Nines, 65%. Bridesmaids! Ah, oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> Bridesmaids, 90%. I forgot about that. The Heat, 65%. St. Vincent, 77%. Spy, 94%. Ghostbusters, 74%. Love Gilda, 88%. And Can You Ever Forgive Me, one of her newer films, 98%. Alrighty, guys. Uh, let's see here. Chandler has 22 points, and Joseph has 9 points. And as we know in round 4, 9 is the total you can get. No need to go on. Mr. Chandler Langley, congratulations. You, sir, are moving on to round 3 and are in the final 8 of the tournament. Congratulations to you, sir. Wow. Okay, we'll talk to Chandler in a second. Joseph, nine points. Solid, man. Not too bad. I think Chandler just got a lot of steals on you today. It just, you went with multiple choice, but it just didn't pan out your way today. You still, you you surprised me here in the very first question of the game. It seemed like you studied, man, but it just wasn't enough. Unfortunately, you are eliminated from the tournament, but we want to hear from you, man. Give us your thoughts. All right, well, um, thank you for having me on this so congratulations to Chandler and yeah I've studied my best and yeah you can find me on Facebook you can find me on uh, Twitter uh, you can find me on Instagram and of course you can find me on YouTube and yep, yeah, thank you for having me and hope I'll be on in the future soon. Hey, we were happy to have you here, Joseph. We are hoping this isn't the last time we'll see you on the show. We love seeing you compete and thank you so much, Joseph. But Chandler, if my math is correct, 22 points, that's what you put up in round one and you get 22 points again here in round two. You're, you're great, man. You study, you're, you shock me every day, and you had a great year in round three. We love seeing you compete, and we are going to see you compete in round three. Congrats. Give us your thoughts. Well, once round one started, I literally thought that I was going to lose because of a Jay Vaders. But um, it definitely was a fun time that I had, and uh, I guess history does repeat itself because I matched 22 points like last time, and I also matched 25 points like I did last season that I was on here. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in round three because it's going to be really tough. <laughs> Uh, you could just search up on YouTube.com and type in Chandler Langley and Chandler Videos and put them together and you'll be able to find me. That's the easiest way to find me. Oh yes, the, the fun is just beginning. The competition is just getting started. But Chandler, you can relax for now because you are in that final eight. You've secured the first spot. Actually, the second spot because we know who else won in the last episode. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Everybody in the comment section, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know how crazy and intense this match was two great competitors here going at it and again we can't thank them so much that's going to do it for the first two matches in round two again like i said the fun is just beginning we have many more matches to go here in round two and i'm excited to see how it's all going to pan out thank you guys again so much for watching if you like this match give it a thumbs up don't subscribe to just ryan subscribe to all of these great youtubers they put a lot of hard work into their channels and deserve your support all of ryan's social media links are in the description box including the competitors including the new twitter page new fan page for rotten or fresh be sure to go follow it at rotten or fresh yt the yt is youtube rotten or fresh yt go check it out and guys we will see you in the next matches bye